Namaste, everyone. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to the transformative practice of Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra can be defined as conscious sleep, where you experience a deep state of awareness while existing between the waking and sleep states. During Yoga Nidra, you're trying to maintain awareness throughout the practice as you become aware of the deeper dimensions of your being. It's a powerful guided meditation technique done while lying on your back called Shavasana in yoga that will help you totally let go and release any stresses, tension, or emotional burdens and allows you to gain deep insight and awareness into your true self. The yoga nidra that we teach here at the Blooming Lotus Yoga School is inspired by the traditional and systematic teachings of Swami Sachananda Saraswati of the Bihar School of Yoga, with adaptations made for the modern age. You can experience profound physical, mental, and emotional relaxation during Yoga Nidra as you release thoughts, emotions, memories, and burdens. It is a wonderful technique for stress, insomnia, anxiety, depression, healing trauma and deep wounds, and alleviating health problems. Yoga Nidra is also an incredible method to promote clarity, insight, creativity, and calmness, and can be used for education to accelerate learning and to help children with sleep, anxiety, and other emotional and behavioral problems. In fact, Yoga Nidra is so powerful that a single hour of effective Yoga Nidra practice is said to be as restful as four hours of regular sleep. What's special about Yoga Nidra is that it is a guided meditation technique done while lying on your back, making it accessible and easy for anyone to follow. You can practice on your back or in a reclined or seated position if you prefer, and support your body with blankets, cushions, or props to ensure comfort during the practice. Being a guided meditation, it helps you focus your mind and remain committed to the practice so you can enjoy its immense benefits. When practicing Yoga Nidra, you may like to place a pillow or blanket underneath your head and underneath your knees or pelvis to prevent any pain or discomfort during the practice and choose an environment that is quiet and free from distractions. As with other meditation practices, your body temperature may drop during Yoga Nidra and you may want to wear suitable clothing so that you're not distracted from the cold. As well, you should practice Yoga Nidra after you've digested your food, as your digestive rate will also slow down during the practice. If you're using Yoga Nidra to fall asleep, then you can play a Yoga Nidra MP3 through an audio device while in bed and purposely allow yourself to fall asleep by no longer paying attention to the instructions. If you're using Yoga Nidra to cultivate awareness, heal the body, balance the emotions and mind, release habitual patterns, or awaken spiritually, then you can try to remain alert and aware throughout the practice yet you will still receive benefits if you dip into and out of consciousness or even if you fall asleep. In Yoga Nidra, you are also given the opportunity to work with an affirmation or intention known as Sankalpa in Sanskrit. This Sankalpa or intention is a simple, clear, positive statement in the present tense that is repeated mentally near the beginning and end of the practice. Examples of sankalpas or intentions are, I am happy, healthy, and trust in my highest self. Or, I trust and surrender to the divine self. Or, I surrender to love and truth. Whichever sankalpa or intention you choose to create, you should use the same intention when you practice yoga nidra until it has fully manifested in your life. There's no need to worry if you miss some of the instructions during the practice, as it's natural for your consciousness to dip in and out of awareness. Just try to remain relaxed and aware throughout the practice. 
It is also natural to experience jerking or electrical impulses in the body as it releases built up tensions or energetic impressions. This is a sign of a deep let go. You may also feel very relaxed after the practice and you can take your time to come back into full waking consciousness. Yoga Nidra can be practiced at any time of the day and can be substituted for Shavasana at the end of your yoga practice. You can experiment to see what time is best for you to practice according to your schedule and needs. So, if you would like to get started practicing Yoga Nidra, please click on the link below to download a free Yoga Nidra MP3 audio track. Or, if you're ready to deepen your practice, feel free to explore my Yoga Nidra collection of guided meditations. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that Yoga Nidra can help you develop more inner peace, happiness, and wisdom, so that you may live a more fulfilling life in the bliss of being. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti